Hey guys. <laughs> As you can see, I'm wearing some dopey ass shit right now. Holy <laughs> board. I got my cells back, which I should probably spend right now. Oh, reinforced weapon. Straight sword plus nine. I need one more large shot in that shard to get the straight sword plus ten, but that's fine. Uh, let's do some reinforcing of armor. Let's have a look at the black knight armor. It's black leather. Where you at, black knight? There we are. Uh, it uses Twinkling Twite Knight. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't use Twinkling Twite Knight, but yeah. I'll just switch to Hevel Zum when I get that instead, which is a much better armor. Uh, we're going to swap out some of this for Black Iron. Black Iron. I'm going to keep the weird hat though. I like the weird hat. It's so fucking dopey. Uh, yeah, let me get that. I need to level up my tomb at once so I can get another slot so I can have two items at the same time. Also, need to level up my pyromancy flame so it's more useful. I mean, I've got some intelligence, so I do increase in my damage there, but not nearly enough. I need to upgrade my pyromancy flame itself, and I forgot to do the level up. Crap. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I have to go all the way back up now. Just imagine this whole bit and rewind, if you can. <laughs> Who knows, I may even put that in rewind just for the sake of that joke. Just have this whole section right here in rewind. I mean, it'll take the exact same amount of time except when I swap my arm, which will be around now, so. Who cares? So, level up, that's what I want. Level up, level up, level up, mm. level up, level up, level up, mm. Mm. Alright, that's a good level up. Need eight, eleven more levels, and then I can do exactly what I want to do. Hopefully, by then, I will have the spirit that I need. The soul, I should say. Get mine. Here we go. Perfect. <laughs> it's so dopey, that giant head. <laughs> I also don't get why there's blood patches on it. Like, his head's up there and he's been stabbed a few times. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, it's great, though. I love it. Alright, so we're coming across across to our Cathedral of Anolondo. Uh, again, I haven't adjusted my DS fix yet to readjust to make the um, distance look slightly better. I should definitely re put that on. So I was definitely working with when it was on, it was just, I don't know some weird glitch and screwed up. But I guess that's how it is. Usually walking up these stairs you get a whole crap ton of people going, I need humanity, I need help and stuff like that. Yeah. So what you want to do here is like lure one of these guys out and roll them beneath their feet. And then get them one at a time. It's annoying when they do this though. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Come on, bye, thank you. Coming up to the hardest bit in all of... Oh, there's an item here. Giant tower, but that's pretty lucky. The hardest bit of Analondo, which is... The Analondo rooftops. It's hard not because of these giant guys, because the giant guys are pretty easy to beat. It's hard, however, because of these gargoyles that we're going to see very, very shortly, and some archers that are sitting on top of the roofs. My absolute dill holes. Can lure these guys one at a time, which is what we're going to do here. Come on, come on. I miss. They have electric attack on their thing, so it's really annoying. If you can get them to get nicely recalled, you're good. Unfortunately, they go so far back when you hit them. Half makes you want to just rush them and try and knock them off the edge, but you gotta be careful and fight them one at a time. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. 
Yeah, he fell off the edge. That's excellent. Like, look at that. Every time, he just... Just managed to hit you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Heal. Oh, thank God you rolled off the edge. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a close one there, Sunny boy. Yep, head down here. We have two more to deal with before we have to deal with that, that whole section. So, try a little one out. Walk back to this bridge here if you can. They usually can't walk on the bridge too well. But it gives you a chance. Oh, I missed! No! I get some good hits off like so. Ah, oh, missing it so lame. Open to use that stamina, hopefully like the giant attack if you can. That's good enough. Except for when you miss so many times. Stop that you. That is so annoying. And yet they're the ones that brought you down on the um, come on, there we go. God. I'm such trouble with them. But here comes the real challenge. So, we get this. We swap to poison arrows. Actually, I'm gonna swap back to normal arrows for a little bit. Oh, God. Look at that. Nowhere near it, and yet. Okay, there we go. I just gotta adjust my aim until it's right. Should be a way to zoom in if I can remember. Like that, yep, there we go. Now there is a point where you wanna aim for. And it's right here, I think. Okay. Yep, that's it. Hopefully this doesn't hit me. Can't tell where the other shot went. Oh god, that was scary though. Perfect. One, two, three. Good, the poison stuck. Just what we want, and then we swap to our. No oh god, I got hit. Oh god. Just want the poison to stick, and I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to spend 16,000 years waiting for the arrows to eventually kill him. Ah, oh, it's a nuisance, this. The main reason why it's a nuisance is because those arrows actually curve in the air. As you can see, it's going straight and then curves down. Going straight, curves down. Going straight, curves down. Well, let's get the poison on him, you just gotta wait. Dumpy dum dum. You can run up there and try and fight them with your sword. Which I, I agree it's something you can do, but it's super annoying anyway. That's the other one. Just gonna wait for this guy to stop shooting as well. While well, he does that, I'm gonna try and get into position. A bit more. Okay, that's about it. He's now stopped, so. Good. 
Now we got poison stuck on both of them. And so we wait it out. You're in the new area of Analondo, which is great! First of all, you go to the left here. There's no guys in here, but there is a bonfire and Soler! Come on, Soler, I want to talk to you. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not Problem, hesitate bro. to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I was sure. relish a chance to assist you. You really yeah, are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, oh. I think you have feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> oh, Select so could be gay, but he's probably more bisexual, if anything. Although, he is a part of the Gwen family, really so it could be. <laughs> and we light the bonfire, and we're going to be watching Solaire as he vanishes into outer space! Oh, he's still there, don't worry guys. Uh, I don't have enough for a level up, but we do have this bonfire, which is good. This bonfire here, you generally want to use a twin humanity and pop it up to 10 um, Estus flasks if you're having trouble with this area. If you're not, don't worry about it so much. Uh, there's a door here which you can open, there's a guy in here and an item. Hey guy, how you doing? These are Silver Knights of Gwen. They are not as strong as the Black Knights of Gwen, but they are still fairly similar in every single respect. These are more like the Palace Guards, not like the super burly Frontier Men. And they're guarding Sunlight Medals, that's how you know they're Knights of Gwen. Uh, this is where your parrying is going to come in super useful because you can parry these guys all day long, every day. And parry. See what I mean about parry all day long, every day? It's great. I believe there's something in this door. And it's a very important thing. You may notice that these lovely notifications here telling you that right here is where you need to go. This is definitely the place where you want to be. There's also a very large place for Mimic chests to appear. Because there's going to be a whole bunch of chests. One, two, three, four, five. Five chests! Ah! 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 I don't think there's any more down here. I'm probably going to have to... Uh, you'd think there'd be something here, but there isn't. Like a weird, I suppose it's just because that's where the fireplace is, I guess. You'd think there would be, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I can't even remember what I'm trying to say anymore. I was talking about editing, trying to remind myself that I need to brighten us up this area. Look at the chains, if they're facing you, it's perfectly okay. And we get Havel's gear right here. And since we have Havel's ring on, we might as well put Havel's gear on. So, where are you, Havel? Havel's armor is the strongest armor set in the game, and we're going to be wearing this throughout the rest. Oh, we're too fat for this shit. Oh, that's not good. How much are we overweight? Uh, by 15. So let's swap out these gloves here. What are we at here? That's 11. And if we drop down to the Elite Knight gloves, we should be... No, nope, we're still overweight. By how much are we overweight? By point two, are you serious? Oh my god. How heavy? Oh, no, I want to know. How heavy this is? Yeah, it's too heavy. I need to go down point two, so remove the longbow and boom, we can roll perfectly fine. Good chest here. You can tell because the chain is facing away from you. Dragon tooth, which is what Havel was using when he was fighting us before, and Havel's great shield. Havel's great shield also has a weird effect. And this one here, if the chain facing you, is clearly evil! 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 And roll away! Ah, oh, I didn't roll away! No! Quick! Tap the tap the tap the tap tap tappers! Yeah, Jack. Can't believe you hit me, yet, Jack. How lame. And you get the occult club, which isn't that great of an item, so I don't know why they bothered putting it in a chest. 
I suppose it's good for sorcerers though, because there's low strength requirement. I believe it scales with intelligence. Where are you, a cult club? Uh, oh, should be this way, so yes. Oops, I didn't mean to actually equip that one. I look, yep. Oh no, it scales with faith, so this is more for faith build people, I guess. But if you're going faith, you generally um, don't want an item on because. I mean, I'm not an item, uh, you generally upgrade dexterity because it works well with those sort of weapons because lightning go, um, gets boosted by dexterity. Wow, that was a hard way to say that, but yes, that's what I was trying to say. Hey there, guy. You still going sweet? That's cool. I I'll leave you to it, bro. I'll be over here dealing with these guys again. Hey, bro. Come at me. Oh no, I did it too early. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna cheese you out by staggering. Now, I am going to show off something cool. Hopefully it works. Hopefully I have more than one Lloyd Talisman to do this. We are too good. Equip the Lloyd Talisman. Uh, it's this chest here, I believe. Yep. Have a Lloyd Talisman, bro. And now we fall asleep. Oh, he's so cute when he's asleep. Oh, what a cutie boy. And like this! <laughs> uh, and does he draw up his head? He does. So now we have his head. Ah ha ha ha! Ah nom 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 nom. Look on time. Look on time. Ridiculously stupid because it is ridiculously overweight. It's even heavier than the Havel's helmet. <laughs> but oh well, it was fun to show off. There's a guy over there who's trying to shoot at me. And we got another evil chest here. Oops. Fuck on, please. Whoa, that judo kick. How dare you do a judo kick, guy? That gives me five silver coins. And then here, we have some guy. Hey, guy. Oh, sorry, guy. I didn't have my shield out to parry you. Try again. There we go. Give me your item, bro. Oh, you didn't drop your item. You meant to drop your item here. Oh well, you can see that guy down there. Oh, that's the item I'm looking for. Assume this is the item that I want, right? Ah, oh, no, it's not. I swear that guy was meant to drop an item though. Well, I guess I was wrong. At least it shows you this demon guy. He is a bitch to kill. And all you get is, um, I think you actually might get his pole if you kill him. Not a hundred percent sure on that, but here's the side we want to be on. We want to get down there though. So to do that, we're going to do a little speed running trick, which is just here. So uh, it's here. There it is. Ah, uh, how do I do this again? I'm gonna jump in high across. You got jump. Nope. I can do this. Ah, you can jump from here to there. I haven't practiced this at all. I've only seen the speed run. I'm like, if they can do it, I can do it, right? No, no, that's not how speed runs work. I'm just gonna change some options. Options. It's not there. I want camera. No. Where are you at? Must be in key settings. Mouse is on the screen again. You guys should really tell me that earlier. PC settings, no. I'm trying to find camera reorder adjust turn off. 
There we go. That way, yeah, my camera is now locked and it's not going to turn when I change as well. It will when I face the wrong way, but... You know. I need to be closer to this wall here. I gotta, gotta hug the wall sort of thing. I, uh, oh, I felt that one was close. That one was pretty close. Maybe it's easy to come from below and then go to the right. Or to the left, wherever it is. I'm gonna try this a few more times and then I'm gonna get call it quits. Oh, that would have been completely the wrong way. Uh, nope. Come on, you can do this, you can do this. Alright, screw it, that's enough. <laughs> you can go that way and bypass this whole section that I'm about to do. Uh, went from here, that's up the top here, which doesn't actually lead you anywhere. I think you can shoot this off. I can't quite rightly remember if you can or not. Where are you at? Wait, what was that? Oh, the giant's halberd. Longbow. Oops. No, stop doing that. <laughs> there we go. Alright, maybe you can't do it with this. Maybe... Heavy bolts? Or... Throwing knives. Throwing knives. Uh, come on. There we go. Alright, that didn't do it. Alright, I can't remember if you can take this head off or not. I was pretty sure you could, but I can't really... Yeah, see there's an item on there somewhere. Oops. Hmm. 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 We've come at quite an impasse here now. I definitely remember there was something you could do with that head. I'm pretty sure it was that head that you can knock off. You can get an item for doing so. But that's neither here nor there, I guess. So let's continue on. Uh, let's see if I can get this right. Nope, screwed it up. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, maybe you should stop throwing your arrows at me, bro, and you didn't get wrecked. You, you. That was <laughs> way too stupid of a thing to do just then, though. But I wanted to show you that you could parry them and not get any knockback. That was the whole reason for doing that. Can I open this? No, I can't from the side. What so? Wish I could, but I cannot. Canuck, canuck. Uh, just through this wall here, there's an enemy, so be careful when opening this door. Put your shield up. Generally just let him do his first attack and then parry when you feel safe. That way, because his first attack can come at a more varying rate than his second or third attack, so... Just because you're not 100% sure when it's going to come, sort of thing. Now it's a bit hard to explain or tell, but, you know, it's how it has to be. Hey guy, come on out. Ah, I did it wrong. Gotcha. And we're gonna run into our best pal in the whole world again. Sigmire of Katarina. Oh, he's not here. Why aren't you here, Sigma? Hmm. Hmm. Where would I have left him? I talked to him there. Is he there? I'm trying to think if I screwed up Sigma's plotline or not. I don't think I did. Hopefully one of them came out. Cause there's, yep, there's that one. No, no, I don't want you to pull all of you, I just want you. Come through. You have been chosen, my friend. You are now dead for your chosen sacrifice. You are also dead 
Thank you for your sacrifice, my good sir. Would you too like to join in this sacrifice? I need to drink. Ah, oh, screw you. You are a huge jerkwad. Making me have to fail my parry so many times. I don't know. Just check the chain. It is a good one. I knew it wasn't a bad one though, so, you know. Just saying check the chain. And now we got the store open for no reason, because this place you never really want to go through. The other way is a lot safer because you only have to verse 2 instead of 5, so... I never understood why they allowed you to open that door and why this place even existed, besides for the hold that 2 Demon Titan Knight, and they... I guess when they were building the symmetry of this place, they were like, yeah, but we have to have a room here to make it nice and symmetrical. And they're like, yeah, sure, why not? This guy just run the side of him. Come on, come on. You can also get backstabs on these guys. They're a lot harder than the Black Knights, which you could quite easily get backstabs on. It's still fun to try, you know. Alright, screw it. I'm taking too much damage from this. Oh god. This is going down to the wire. I have to make him attack. There we go. Alright, I have two choices here, either use some humanity or just try and roll it out. Ooh, this is not, I don't like doing these sorts of choices to be honest. Here we're at this place that I was trying to jump to, we want to go this way. There's only two guys here though. I just, I don't want to risk it, I'm going to use the humanity, heal myself up. Humanity. I mean, I've got heaps of them, so I'm not too worried about wasting them to do this, but I'd rather not. Why aren't you staggering? No! Oh, I knew I shouldn't have wasted humanity. <laughs> oh well. Plums the breaks as the cookie crumbles, as they say. Alright, so we're back here where I died. I'm gonna cut this bit out. Cut unless I can make this. Jump! No, I didn't make it. I was in the complete wrong spot anyway. Oh, I did it! But I did it to the wrong place. But I can do it, guys! <laughs> alright, alright, I got this. I got this. I can do this. Just gotta jump at the right spot. 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 Ah, I was in the right spot. Let me go up just a little bit further. Yes! Yes! I did it! Wahaha! I'm the greatest man that ever lived! Mwahaha! Excellent! You! Not even you can down my spirits. If you're gayness. Alright, maybe you can down my spirits just a little bit. Thank you. My god. I refuse to get parried. I'm guessing it's a bit slightly harder when I'm on the stairs. Only slightly guessing that though. Ah. Screw you, bitch. I said screw you. Backstabbed. And then you get backsliced. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. These are both safe, by the way. And you get the Silver Knight set, which is, I think, better than the Black set. 
It's definitely lighter than the black set, I think. Uh, silver. Oh man, compare this to black. Alright, so black's heavier, so black's just slightly above it, except for silver has lightning resistance because it's from. Uh, what's its face? Gwen's army. So there we go. And there's this door open now. We can go back to this bonfire safely with our tails slightly intact. You also get a good amount of souls here, so if you're ever feeling you're a little bit low on levels, this is a good place to farm. There's lots of stuff here to farm. Uh, I kind of want to up my endurance a little bit. Will that be enough? I can't quite tell. Yeah, I'll, I'll up my endurance just slightly here. You really do need endurance more than anything else in this game. So useful. Let's see, can I equip my bow without going over the limit? 54.2, yes I can. Sweet. The reason why I was talking about limits there is at 50%, oh. uh, exactly 50% you can still do normal rolls. And at any greater percent, do the fat rolls, which I've showed off many a time. And at 25%, you can do light rolls. Yeah, there you go, bitch. You're jerking me around. So rude. Ah, oh, god damn it if you're timing. Oh, that one's so easy to tell the timing on, but the other one's just fickle. Oh well. That's cool. We're almost at the boss area, which is probably going to be a whole video onto itself, the boss area. But first of all, I have to get there and open up one more door, so no biggie. May show off one attempt when I'm hollowed though, just for the fun of it. May notice that there was a giant down there who looked at me funny and went, Hey, you're not allowed here. I'm gonna get you. You can walk off this here into there and get an item. I don't recommend doing it because you kind of have to use a homewood bone to get out of there because it literally traps you or you die and it's just really. Is that really how you're going to do this? There's also a pass that I just saw the glance at. I'll be going back there very soon. I just want to deal with these guys and these things. Yeah, take that. Crazy great archers. Now remember to kill this guy. It's super important to kill him he's going to be a bitch all the time. And right here is a summon sign for Solaire, although you can't see it right now. Because I'm hollowed. And there's also usually summon signs for this boss fight. Now the reason why I'm moving over here is because I'm trying to leash one guy back while still keeping one guy with me. One, two, ah, you stupid shield, bro. Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do now? Huh? Oh, you're going to put your shield up again. No, don't heal yourself. Healing's for cheaters. You're not a cheater, are you? And here's what we want right here, is this lever right here, and it opens these giant doors. Open the doors. And we can now run straight from the bonfire to here, which is why I didn't upgrade that bonfire, because I knew I could just do it. Just run from that bonfire all the way to here. And you can literally just run through the legs of all these guys when you come to fight them. Hey bro, you wanna go? You wanna go, bro? Yeah! You wanna go! Stagger, stagger, stagger! No, you didn't stagger. Ah, uh, no, don't do that. Ah, you bitch. Hey, you better stagger. No, don't aim the wrong way, guy. Yeah! I did it! Woo! You also get summon signs for allies at the top of that fog, and that top of where that fog is is also a leash point for these giants, so keep that in mind. Uh, I've got one humanity, soft humanity on me though, so I don't really want to do the boss fight unless I'm human. 
I should still be able to do it on this episode though. I'll just cut out me running to the other bonfire and humanity myself and all that junk. Blacksmith ahead. Wow, you're so observant. Need humanity. Oh, of course you do, bro. And here we have the greatest back blacksmith of them all. The giant blacksmith. Which you can sort of see his shoulder there. There we go. He looks very much like the guys at Sin's Fortress. Except for he's a giant blacksmith. Look how tiny that weapon is he's using. Super cool. And it's like a great axe there. Oh, it's just a normal axe. Should have been great axe, would be great. Yep, and he is the blacksmith for the giants. You can reinforce your weapons here. You can also modify your weapons into lightning, which is pretty cool. Or see some stuff. Great sword, Artorius? That's crazy. Tin Dark Moon? Solomonis Castellus? What? What are all these stuff? It's crazy. You can also change stuff back to the previous thing. Make an occult club just a divine club. You can change the lightning spear to just a spear. All these sorts of things. But what I'm going to do is purchase an item off him. Large Titanite shot, and you can also get Twinkling Titanite from him, which is really good to know. You can get the giant helmet and giant shield. Dragon Slayer arrows, which are the strongest arrows in the game. And Moonlight arrows, which are magic damage arrows. Which is also cool. Lightning bolts, which is pretty sweet. And that's about it. Then you get the whole giant set. If you want the giant set, which if you're doing the big daddy build, you want the giant armor, you want the giant gauntlets, and that's it. Made from ancient brass, it also offers protection versus non-physical attacks, but due to the giant size, it is extremely heavy for humans and impedes stamina recovery. Basically saying, please don't use these, they're way too heavy for you bro, you can't handle them. And I think... I think some of these are better than Havel in some respects, I'm pretty sure you can upgrade them as well, I can't rightly remember. Uh, da, 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 da. Straight sword to plus 10. We then go modify equipment, and we go to here, and we go what? Oops, wrong one. Where is it? Yeah. Great Sword of Taurus and Great Sword of Taurus, but this one's weaker than this one. That's so weird. And you can't see the law between the difference of them. I don't know, guys. This is pretty cray cray. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. By the way, we're going to be getting that great sword of Taurus. But first of all, we have to deal with these suckers. Yeah, you can't jump away when you're in a corner, can ya? Stupid ass bitch. You too. Jump back to your corner. Jump back. Back to the foul places you came from. And there's an item down here, and there's also one more of those guys, so I'm gonna bully. Oh, there's two more of these guys, I'm sorry. But there's only one. Come on, jump up higher. Oh my god, you are such a jerk, you are. Jump off the edge. Fine, I'll attempt to knock you off the edge. Yeah. So rude to these guys. But, if they weren't so rude to me, I wouldn't be so rude to them. Nope, fall off the edge. There you go. Titanite chunk. Dun 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 dun. Super important item, the Titanite Chunk. Not for us right now, but overall it's going to be pretty good. Hey there, giant guy. I want to buy some stuff from you. Give me your sweet ass set. How many can I buy? I can just buy the armor. Let's buy the armor. Yeah, I'll come up soon. Don't worry. That's when I compare the giant armor. Oh, no, giant armor doesn't win. It's actually lighter though. But, yeah. Looks pretty baller to be honest. Much more baller than the Havel set, but... Havel is Havel, so you wear Havel. Havel can't get upgraded, but I'm pretty sure giant armor can get upgraded. That's why it can be slightly better. 
And it's definitely a lot lighter, so in case you don't want to wear the whole Havel ring sort of thing. Which, why would you not want to wear it? It's a question. Alright, so I'm going to put a cut here and I'll see you back when I'm versing the boss for the very first time. Oh, he dropped something. Cut back in for two seconds. He dropped a giant shield! What a baller! There's that item that I was talking about that you can get, but stuck, it gets you stuck in there, so why would you bother? Hey, Knights of Lair, come join me in a fight, you jolly old cooperative bastard. Hmm. Good job, Solaire. Please don't jump down, hurt yourself. Ah, you, my good friend, please join me in a jolly bout of cooperation. He's got some giant armor on. Come on, you can be summoned too. I know you want to get summoned. Night Solaire, don't tell me you jumped off the edge like an idiot. Solaire, look, I'm I'm down here, Solaire. Can you be a good guy? Solaire, you jumped off the edge, didn't you? Why you do this, Solaire? Every freaking time. Hey there, my good sir. I have joy for you. Let's go. And here we have Smo and Ornstein, also known as the Decapitator and Dragon Slayer. And by Decapitator, I mean Executioner. Oops, oops, oops. see a little bit of trivia going on here as Ornstein dies just before he dies watch his hand watch his hand guys and you saw it it was still moving and Smo ruthlessly killed him what a boss an absolute a-hole man Oh, Super Smash is so huge. Although that has huge looking radius on it, it probably doesn't have that big of a range. Come on, stagger. Yeah, stagger the bitch. Oh, injured back with that. Oh, oh. And he is out of here. Boom goes the dynamite. Yeah, yeah. Although I kind of want the Dragon Slayer's soul, but. This guy was all like, nah, I'm going to pick for you, you get that one. So whatever. And you notice here straight away, oh, hey look, we got the, we got the first, got Gwen there. We got Guinevere here, who's like the second born. Yeah, sh well, yeah. <laughs> and there seemed to be someone missing. And you notice that it's on the right hand of him, so therefore this should be the first born. Yet the statue's missing. It's so crazy. And how come the second born is Guinevere when he only has two sons? So weird. Oh well, let's go up this little elevator here. I did it, congratulations guy. I'm actually, I, I didn't get to upgrade your message. Otherwise I would have, I'm sorry guy. What about your message? Liar ahead, oh that's always nice. 
And we, well, I suppose there's a light right ahead. Yeah. Light the bonfire. Boop. Bonfire lit. Rest that bonfire. Devil up. Still trying to get to 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, Everyone loves rating pluses. I do, so you should love it too. We're gonna head over here. And, uh, where is in this corner here? I guess you can only get it if you beat the. Yeah. That, right, what's meant to be there is something I'm gonna be showing in my next video, which is the Liar Route. And I'm gonna be showing you the whole. A Knight of Lestra, Knight of Khan that guy's whole business but for now this we're gonna go into these lovely doors and we're gonna see something quite beautiful honestly breathtaking why hello there mademoiselle how are you okay I shall come hither Oh, chosen I'm chosen now, but I never said I was. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Sure thing. J just for you, just for you. Farewell. Uh, I suppose you can show off some other stuff. And you can enter her covenant and talk to her. everything all right you can enter her covenant but you don't actually have to enter it to gain an achievement of course you just gotta say yeah I'll enter and then you just press no and you still get an achievement it's pretty damn easy to do that and we now have the ability to warp between bonfires and once we place the Lord vessel we'll be able to unlock the second half of the game and won't that be jolly fun so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We beat Ornstein and Smo. Look at the destruction down there. They're trying to take down this whole place. Those bastards. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the Liar's Route. So I shall see you guys. Uh, I don't have Wave anymore. I removed it when I was mucking around. Well, what is it to you anyway? See you later, guys.